Hello everybody, it is George from Total Clips Gaming, and today I'm going to be starting my version of the Let's Play on the Binding of Isaac, um, Wrath of the Lamb, and uh, Ray is also doing this, so we're kind of doing like a mashup, because we both really enjoy this game, but just a quick look at my stats, um, yeah, uh, I'm doing pretty good, but I already reset my save for this Let's Play, but then the footage ended up bad, so... Yeah, it was kind of pointless, but you know what? We're gonna start, and we're gonna start with Isaac. And if you don't know much about this game, you can go watch Makai's review, cause he did a did a pretty good review on it. All right? Hold up. Hold on a second. I need to open my controller thing. All right. Sorry about that. I just needed to open Joy to Key so I could, you know, play with my controller like I like to do. Ah, shit. That, okay, I'm not this bad at the game. Just haven't played it all today. Not warmed up. I've been playing a lot of original Legend of Zelda, so I'm kind of used to that, but not going to blame it on it. So let's see what we got for our first item here. We got the Book of Sin, which we are going to pick up, use, then we're going to re-roll it for X-Ray Vision, which is actually a great item. It'll allow us to see all secret rooms and super secret rooms, and we won't have to use bombs. So, we already saw the boss room. We'll go to that after we find the super secret room. And hopefully recharge our D6 on the way there. Okay, there's the super secret ah, uh, shoot. Super secret room. Hopefully we get something good. Matchstick, might as well take it. We have no other trinket. I believe the matchstick gives you increased chances for bombs, bomb pickups. So, with the first floor complete, let's fight the boss. Famine. Alright, uh, not the ideal first boss to fight, but it's probably going to be a really long boss battle. Of just, you know, pacing back and forth like I am right now. But we are going to get a cube of meat from this. And hopefully we can fight some harbingers on later floors to get our meat boy upgrade. Yeah, he's not even like a fourth of the way done. But he'll get easier once we just have to fight his head. Because we don't have to worry about his flies. But for the most part, he just runs right into them. Wow, I took him down quite a bit actually. Alright, here's the easy part. Except for when that happens. But it looks like we're gonna come out with full red heart health. Which is good. And there's our spirit heart back, and just take out this last fly who was hiding in some rocks. And here's our cube of meat. Uh, is it worth it to go look for. No, I guess not. I was going to say tinted rocks, but I didn't see any, so... It's good we got the x-ray glasses, because we're not going to have to waste bombs on opening secret rooms. Like we would if we had the spelunker. Ah, Jesus. If we had the spelunker. So yeah, it's a pretty good item to get on the f early floors. Uh, these guys are kind of a pain in the butt. But, yeah, there we go. And there's our D6 charged up. Let's... Try and find that item room. There's an arcade, which, I don't know, it could be useful. Maybe, I don't know, I kind of want to save up for maybe a shop item. So, I'm not really going to go to that. I don't really want to go to that right now. Okay, there's a key. First key drop, actually. Okay, a couple spiders and a fire that will shoot at me. Which I just recently learned is actually another reference to Zelda. I'm not going to spoil that for anybody, but... Oh, I can just kill these guys with my cube meat. Oh, jeez. How, how'd they hit me through the... Okay. Okay, uh, we got... Number one, which will bring our fire rate maxed, I believe. But it will make our range tiny, which is bad, so... Alright, the miter... So that'll give us more of a chance to spirit heart drops, which could be good in the long run. 
those are both pretty neutral items. They're not amazing, but they're definitely not bad. Alright, there's the... Uh, shit. I knew I was gonna take damage there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it'd be nice to get maybe a hard drop here. But there is this... I think that's the super secret room by the sound of its jingle. <laughs> Alright. Might be worth it to go check out the shop right now, actually. Now it's definitely worth it to go check out the shop. Alright, so... Let's just use our key in this shop. Oh, the battery. Or the 9 volt, my, my bad. Uh, uh, let's see. I always get the battery in that confu- Oh, here's a super secret room too. Okay, there's an eternal heart, which you're gonna save for after the boss fight, because we don't want to lose it. If I get a couple spirit hearts, I'll, I'll pick it up. Jesus, I need to stop getting hit. A pill. Should I eat it? Alright, definitely could have been worse. And I like how when you get the 9 volt, it's just kind of jammed into your skull. Alright, I, I still don't think it's worth it to go pick up that eternal heart quite yet. Eh, actually, this is one of my easiest bosses. So... Yeah, Duke of Flies is a piece of cake. His flies are harder to kill than he is. And I could use the D6 on this item that he's gonna drop for me. Alright, so we are going to make it out of this boss battle alive. I apologize for my dog barking in the background if you could hear that. Alright, Jesus Juice, reroll, speed up. Hmm, both neutral. <laughs> but speed up is probably going to help us in the long run. Especially when it gets to the later levels, if we get to the later levels. Alright, so now we're going to go pick up this eternal heart. That'll give us an extra heart container on the next floor. Really be nice to get some red heart drops. Because right now we're basically at full health. Technically. Maybe a little bit above. Down to the next floor. And it'd be nice to get some keys. So. More money. Jeez, I already have 20 cents. If I get two keys, I'll definitely head down to that shop in hopes of getting. I don't know. Actually, not sure. What, oh, there's a super secret room. What I would want to get right now is maybe, you know, a tier, like a damage up. So, like, a damage upgrade would be awesome right now. That's probably my main priority. And maybe some red hearts, please. Or a troll bomb, too. That's cool. Oh, this is actually a great room. Thank you. And we'll be able to access that whenever we want. So if we come across like a demon beggar or something, we can uh, go back and forth. Alright, so here we have a knight, which is actually another, another reference to Zelda. Uh, yeah, just this game is full of just that game. Okay, I want to get this guy running across the room, not up and down. There we go. Uh, let's see. We have no keys, so that is not worth it. Alright, so now there's only one path to the item room and the boss room. Maybe. I'm not. No. Okay. So there's a library, which if we get a key, that could really be worth it if we could get the Bible. Because we could... I'm pretty sure we can reroll books in there. So that'd be great. If we could grab the Bible, because then if we can actually get down to the depths too and stuff like that it'll be easy if we can get to the boss battles another thing I wanna apologize for is just the lack of videos from me lately um, it's honestly just my laziness uh, I'm too lazy to you know 
just like edit the videos so yeah my apologies on that part I'm gonna definitely oh geez definitely gonna start uh, uploading more cuz I just honestly missed uploading um, yeah <laughs> missed uploading also we just got our 30th subscriber uh, yeah that means a lot to me as well alright we have one key perfect what's in here Ooh. No, I'm gonna re-roll it for the fucking worst item in the game. <laughs> or one of them. Oh, shit. This is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. Sorry about my language there, but this is gonna suck wiener. Especially with, like, no damage ups. Let's hope Gertie drops us a good item. Gertie's not so hard as she is just annoying. Like, when I first got this game, I just thought Gertie was the hardest boss. Oh, jeez. It gets more difficult when she spawns these things. Because then you have to worry about her attacking. Hey, I have some bombs I could use. Is it worth it? Probably. Yeah, definitely worth it, because I don't need those bombs for really anything, except for, like, maybe breaking some rocks. Alright, so we did take damage a little bit right there, but... Definitely could have gotten hit a lot more. So, yeah. Not much else to talk about about Gertie. Just a big pain in the ass. One bomb left. Oh, Jesus. I want to get out of here with four red hearts. That'd be nice. If I lose that half a spirit heart, it's not too big of a deal. It's kind of annoying when Gertie spawns about 50 billion things, though. Gertie's almost done here, though. Then we'll take out those flies. There we go. Take out these last flies here. There we go. When we got an HP up, we have a take. And let's go check our deal with the devil. Uh, Brother Bobby and Guppy's head. Eh, nah, no, nothing in there that I really grabs me. All right, so on to the caves too. Okay. Oh shit. This is. I'm sorry about my language during this episode. It's just this game is kind of hard to commentate to, but I I feel like I'll get used to it. Cause it just takes concentration. You know. You know if you played it. Alright, so now we're at full red hearts. So I want to get out of here alive. Alright, sweet. It dropped. Hey, sweet. We actually kind of need a key if we want to go to the item room, which is... Okay, I don't want to accidentally use my key on that shop, which actually could be worth it. You know what? I think I will, because there's a chance there could be a key in there. Wow, that is not good. There could be a key in there, or it could be greed. God damn it. Should have known better. Should have known. Hey, it could be worse. It could be super greed. Greed could be so much harder if he spawns leapers instead of, uh, you know, your normal, uh, hoppers, I believe they are called. Alright, I need to start doing more damage to greed. Oh shit, that was awesome. Yeah, if you don't have this game, it's five dollars, so and it goes on sale quite a bit, so I would definitely recommend getting it because it's just so fun. I have like a lot of time into this game. All right, I got hit way more than I should have on this greed fight, and I'm still getting hit. Greed, greed, die already. Greed, stop it! I hate this. God damn it. God damn it. Wow, that was really unsuccessful. That tears down pill sure didn't help us either. Oh, and we did get our key back, so... Yeah, could have been worse. Still, not too thrilled about losing three hearts on greed battle. Oh, shush. This is a tough room. Alright, some more money, which we don't really need. And we'll go fight this room. Fuck, dude, we're gonna die. We're gonna fucking die.
fuck that was really bad um okay uh well that's the first episode of george playing the binding of isaac if you haven't watched ray play the binding of isaac go watch it now because he's amazing uh yeah but that was a really bad run i apologize for how terrible that was um i guess it's just i'm trying to get used to commentating so yeah comment rate subscribe see you guys next time